Right, Professor Michigan, tell us what made you want to write an intermediate macro book? I think that uh, probably the most important reason for doing so is that as somebody who does research in the area and also as a policy maker, the models in uh, most macro books do not allow us to talk about the most important policy issues. Issues of credibility, uh, understanding modern business cycle uh, theory, uh, uh, talking about uh, uh, the, the policy issues that we're confronting right now, uh, which understanding uh, uh, what the impact of fiscal policy, monetary policy, how does non-conventional monetary policy work. And that required actually a new framework to actually think about how to do this. And uh, my feeling is that uh, what you try to do in, in a textbook, and this is actually was my objective when I wrote the, the first edition Money and Banking textbook, is to bring the, the modern research level economics, but at a level that's understandable to, uh, to undergraduates. And uh, my view is, and in particular, as a policymaker, so when I had to discuss these issues, I couldn't talk about a standard ISLM model, for example, to explain what I was th thinking about in terms of policy uh, arguments. And in speeches that I made, I couldn't explain them. Where I talked about what monetary science of monetary policy and, and economic research tells us about how to do policy currently. The old models, just, which are too static, just couldn't cut it. So in this context, I felt that uh, there, there was a way to do this in a way that was intuitive for students. Actually, I think in many ways easier because instead of doing two models to discuss business cycles, you actually have just one, an average demand supply model. And so I felt strongly that that was an important thing for me to do. The other issue was that, I, that being, again, a policymaker and somebody who's very applied, that I felt that the book could be much more oriented to policy and practice. And uh, that was something that I felt that, that other textbooks moved in that direction, but not nearly as far as I would like to do to go. Students want to know about the real world uh, and the real world problems that we confront. That macroeconomics and the study of macroeconomics has something to tell us about. So uh, uh, basically, I felt that a new generation of textbooks needed to be written. Uh, that this is something that uh, that uh, uh, was my commitment as a textbook writer in the past, and I felt this was the time to do it. And so I just knuckled down and wrote the book. Great. Thank you.